Woman leaves newborn on business class plane seat. But why does she suddenly decide to find him 13 years later? Rhonda came from a rich family, but her mom passed away when she was two, so her dad raised her alone. He gave her everything she needed, but he was very strict. Rhonda tried to hide her pregnancy, but her dad found out. Rhonda, are you pregnant? You must be joking, yelled her dad, David Harris, when he found out Rhonda was having Peter's baby. When she told him she wouldn't get rid of the baby, he kicked her out. Rhonda left, feeling sad and angry. She went to Peter's house, hoping he'd help her. But he said he didn't want the baby and broke up with her. Rhonda was heartbroken. She realized she was alone, pregnant, and with nowhere to go. She didn't know what to do next. Rhonda's life was turned upside down in one night. She couldn't believe she was heavily pregnant and neither her father nor her boyfriend was concerned about her. She left Peter's house that evening, crying inconsolably, and wandered the streets, unsure of where life would take her. Suddenly, she felt a sharp pain in her abdomen and went into labor. The pain was excruciating, and she kept pleading with passers-by to help her. Fortunately, one woman noticed her and with the help of her driver, assisted Rhonda to her car and rushed her to the hospital. Rhonda had a baby boy that night, and when she woke up, Angela Bamford, who had helped her, was there. Thank you for helping me, Rhonda said quietly. Is my baby okay? He's perfectly fine, Mrs. Bamford said. Are you new here? I saw you had your bags. Rhonda was crying uncontrollably as she shared her story with Mrs. Bamford. I need to leave Texas, she sobbed, but I'm not sure if I can care for my baby. Feeling sorry for Rhonda, Mrs. Bamford offered to buy her a ticket to start fresh in a new place. Please let me help you, she pleaded. It would mean a lot to me. Rhonda hesitated, feeling overwhelmed by Mrs. Bamford's kindness. You've already done so much, she said. I don't know how to repay you. Helping you would be like helping my own daughter, Mrs. Bamford insisted. Rhonda couldn't refuse Mrs. Bamford's offer. A few days later, she found herself flying to JFK with her baby in her arms, starting a new chapter in her life. Rhonda couldn't stop worrying about her baby's future as the plane landed. What if I can't take care of him? She thought, consumed by fear. Lost in her thoughts, Rhonda didn't notice when the flight ended and they arrived at JFK sitting with her baby, she kept thinking about their uncertain future. What if I can't provide for him? What if he ends up on the streets? These worries overwhelmed Rhonda, making her unaware of her surroundings. Rhonda felt terrified realizing she would be alone in a new city with her baby and no support. She was anxious about what lay ahead for them. In a moment of desperation, Rhonda made a difficult decision. She decided to leave her baby on the plane, hoping someone would give him a better life. Waiting for the seats to clear, Rhonda left her son with a note and quickly left the plane. It was hard for her to leave him, but she believed it was for his own good. When the stewardess found the baby and read Rhonda's note, she felt sorry for him. Rhonda's heartbreaking words revealed her love for her son and her hope for his happiness. Thirteen years later, after many struggles, Rhonda finally found a good job and was doing well financially. But she still regretted leaving her son on the plane every single day. For nearly seven years, she was homeless in NYC, and then she spent another seven years working hard to earn money and rent a home. Things got better for her eventually, and she hoped she could give her son a good life. Rhonda felt ashamed of what she did in the past and worried her son would never forgive her. But she decided to try and meet him, even though she feared it might not go well. When Rhonda finally met her son, Matthew, he was angry. He didn't want to see her and said he was happy with his adoptive parents. Rhonda had sought help from the police to find Matthew and was lucky to locate him in New York. His adoptive mother, Lindsay, was hesitant to let Rhonda meet Matthew but she agreed after hearing Rhonda's story. Rhonda apologized to Matthew and explained why she had left him. She didn't tell him everything, but she told him she was poor and his father had left her. Matthew was still angry, 
but he agreed to let Rhonda visit him on weekends. Ten years later, Matthew forgave Rhonda and accepted her as his mother. He understood that she had faced difficulties. Rhonda met a man named Andrew at work, and they've been dating for a month. She wants to marry him but plans to talk to Matthew about it first. She also met Mrs. Bamford again, who was happy to see things working out for Rhonda.